Okay, everyone, thank you very much for watching all the videos in the series so far. This is going to be the last one. And in this video, I am going to introduce you to the seven cowrie shell system, and that would be 4.0. I have made some changes to the system that I want to tell you about. So I've got my handy Melanin Eclectic reading planner with me. And I also have this cool, um, like, seven calorie shell system, like, laminated situation here. Do you see that? I'll tell you a little bit about that later. Okay. So you'll recall that many months ago I... Um, I told you that I had recreated the seven calorie shell uh, system and that I wanted to talk to you a little bit about it. So in this video, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to talk to you about the system and then I'm going to announce the winners for the contest. Um, so uh, please stay, stay tuned and I hope that you enjoy this video. Hi everyone, thanks very much for watching. I am going to be talking about the seven calorie shell analysis. So the first thing is that it's no longer gonna be referred to as a rating system, as long as I remember. Um, the seven calorie shell analysis uh, is something a little bit slightly different, okay? I wanna move away from ratings, and I've tried to do this for a while, but I think this iteration of the seven calorie shell system is the most successful at moving away from assessing books and at least for the purpose of booktube um and it, and i want to encourage us to like if, if we're reading with purpose like if we're choosing a book because we hope that it will answer a particular question or bring us to another level of understanding about an issue or support us in our escapism or validate um, parts of our identity then really instead of talking about whether good the book is good or bad which i think sure it's valuable we could also just be talking about the contribution that the book is making to um our world right to the literature to the canon to the whatever and so i feel like analysis requires of me something different from rating right i think it, it also calls me to be more responsible in the way that i talk about books so um i have kept some of the um categories of analysis that i had in previous iterations of the seven calorie shell system but i think that i've simplified them so the first is world building that has been maintained since the very beginning what i'll be talking about is what the world is like what I liked about the world, what I didn't like about the world, what was confusing, uh, what was easy, what was intuitive, what was surprising, and importantly, how does the world that was created by this author interact with the world that we're in right now, and what does it help me imagine and engage in with respect to the world that we're in right now? So the first calorie will be for world building. The second calorie will be for story. So this is a bit of a craft question but did you know was the story told effectively from my perspective what does the story add to my own way of looking at the world what voices does it sort of expose me to what are what's the setting and the scenery and um the experience of the of the story did i like its pace did i like the way um like did I like how immersive it was? Is it like stories I've read before? Is it something new? So the second calorie is about story. And also from, you know, an anti-oppression or decolonization perspective, we always have to remember that stories are political and that it's often the the groups of individuals who possess uh, power who are the ones who cannot not only not tell their stories but get the stories to be reproduced and integrated into the ways in which our institutions work so um i think that speculative writers particularly writers of um, dystopians like the ones that i like are are looking at our world and writing writing their opposition through to us and i think that's really powerful so i'll explore that in the story carry 
The third is the word questions. The third cowrie is about the questions. What questions does this book, does this piece of writing cause us to ask? That is all, right? Are those questions valuable? Are they new? Um, how do they enhance my own learning and development? The fourth cowrie is voice. And so that is a little bit different from point of view, but it, it is connected, right? I think point of view is sort of a subcategory of voice. So voice is, is more about whose voice, right, do we hear in this particular story? Why do we hear that voice? Is that a voice that's valuable? Um, is that a voice that's new? Um, is that my voice? Do I hear my voice in that? And what does it mean for the story to be told through this particular voice? Whose voice is it? When is that voice? How is that voice? Where is that voice? So of course there's point of view, which is like, you know, the standpoint of the individual who's telling the story. But voice I think is a little bit more nebulous in its, in its meaning, a little bit more existential, right? So it's not only about like who is telling the story, but it's what does it mean for the story to be told in this particular way? How does the voice share the, shape the story? How is the story um, shaping the voice? Um, the fifth cowrie is growth. So this is more of a reflection on me as a reader. How have I grown um, through this particular piece of writing? What has it caused me to explore? How do I, f how do I feel about this particular growth? Um, the sixth cowrie is about queerness. I've integrated queerness back in here, and it's not only about sexual orientation or gender identity. Um, it is largely that, but it is also about um, the author's identity. It's about the characters. It's about whether or not queerness has been written in to this uh, story in, in any kind of way. And it's going to force me to sort of think about that because um, when I'm not careful, I can... I can sort of abandon my queer community in my in my own reading because our books aren't promoted as much as other ones. So it's important um, that I that I talk about it. The other thing that I'm thinking about is that some books queer bait. So um, they have relationships that queer people might recognize as romantic, but then just refer to them in other ways. Like I think of. Um, there's, there are two characters in um, Tomi Adeyemi's um, Children of Blood and Bone. Um, and I just like, I read the, queer, the characters as queer in both the first and second books. Um, and it, like, it, it was just a, a friendship. But I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> and I understand that there can be like romantic and um, sensual friendships, but it just felt like queer baiting for me. And so queerness sort of, gets me to talk about those issues and ask those questions. And then the seventh cowrie shell is simply called pleasure. And that is a reminder to me that I want to read stories that give me pleasure and that are interesting to me, that evoke new ideas new, and evoke creativity in my imagination that are fun to read. Just like you want to eat food that's pleasurable. You want textures that are pleasurable. Well, I also want books that are pleasurable. I don't want a frustrating reading experience. I want an immersive and amazing and wonderful and pleasurable reading experience. So um, pleasure is the last cowrie shell uh, in the seven cowrie analysis. So again, world building, story, questions, voice, growth, queerness, and pleasure. So I'm going to go back to my video. Uh, to tell you who the winners are and then we will end the vidya uh one second all right so Okay. Pages. I hope that you are doing well. That's me. All right. Hey everybody, Editing and Jerry here. I made a mistake. The first winner guessed world building, queerness, diversity, journey, plot, viewpoint, and otherworldly. And so she got three out of seven calories right. And the first winner is 
Ejiro. Congratulations. The second winner was Sherry. Sherry, Sherry from Obsidian, uh, Obsidian Texts and Tangents. And Sherry guessed world building, speculative, queerness, Afro diaspora, voice, purpose, and reading experience. And so Sherry, you also, which book did you ask? Okay, you said that you were um, good with either book. So uh, you will get the other book. Let me just remind myself what the prizes were. Chain Gang All-Stars and the other book was, oh, it was uh, The Promise. So you will, uh, sorry, Promise. So you'll get a copy of Promise. Okay, so thank you everybody for participating in the contest and I look forward to at some point batch filming my review of all the books that I've read so far in 2024 using the Carrie Shell 4.0. If you've watched this video all the way to the end, I would appreciate seven shells in your comments and also some celebratory emoji for those who won the context contest. Uh, always remember to read with purpose and hopefully the seven calorie shell analysis 4.0 will help you do that and I will see you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching.